Hi, my name is Martin Englander and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can upload your email signature to hosting and then implement it into your email provider. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and stay tuned. So in the last video I created, it was showing people how they can take a Photoshop designed email signature and then convert it automatically into code, into HTML and CSS, and then make it all clickable. But I never realized people wouldn't know how to upload it uh, to their email signature because these images and all your files need to be stored or hosted somewhere um, so you can actually copy and paste it. So if you don't know how to do that, I'm going to show you step by step from how to purchase really cheap hosting. Uh, all links are found in the description in this video. Uh, and when I say really cheap hosting, I mean like two to three pounds a month uh, for hosting. And then I'm gonna show you how to zip all your files, upload it to the right area in your hosting, and then extract the files and then how you can find the correct URL so you can copy and paste it into your, uh, your emails. So let's go ahead and get started. We want to get our email signature onto hosting. Now, when it comes to websites and stuff like that, I personally would never use HostGator or GoDaddy or any of these providers. Um, there are a mound of reasons why, uh, but um, for hosting your email signature, I think actually because they're so cheap, it really does not make a difference. And um, you know, it's, I'm really just going on the cheapness aspect. Now, if you want to get this deal, uh, this uh, 275 a month, um, then click the link below this video. Um, I do want to let you know that I do earn a commission off this. Uh, I don't earn much, um, but uh, that's actually not the sole reason why I'm uh, saying use HostGator. It's just if you do start your own business down the line, and I'm covering that in other sections, then really you want to have a hosting platform where you can control all your assets because you're going to be hosting clients' email signatures um, on this. So I would recommend HostGator because they're just super, super cheap and uh, you're not going to need them for websites or anything. And which, by the way, I will also be covering websites down the line and I will be talking about a different platform. Um, but you'll see why. But anyway, let's get started. So if you're gonna use HostGator, uh, which I recommend you do just for ease of everything, click uh, on my link. And then once you click on that, click get started and you will see plans. Now it's completely up to you which one you want to use. Uh, there's not that much difference. I'm just gonna go with the Hatchling plan uh, because I don't need anything fancy. I'm gonna click buy now. And now you want to um, get yourself a new domain. So it can be anything. If you're preparing for your email signature business, then make it um, make, uh, make it something relating to email signatures. So I'm going to do, I don't know, uh, pro email signatures uh, dot com. That's what I'm going to go for is that it's going to auto load whether or not it's actually available. It's not available. Um, so I am, I'm going to put a dash in between. Okay, so that is available. Now, personally, um, I actually don't really care for this email signature that much. So for the domain for this, because I've actually already got other things. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to change this to a website because it's 95 cents a year, which is really very cheap. <laughs> okay, so that's been done like so. Uh, the hatching plan, billing cycle, um, so it's up to you whether or not uh, how many months you want to do. Um, of course, you get that big ass discount if you do 36 months. Um, and you don't actually need any of these. Just fill out your information here. Uh, you don't need 
any of these additional services so i'm just going to get rid of that i'm going to get rid of that uh, again it's up to you if you want to get it but i personally i, I don't need it um, and i'm just going to scroll up okay and uh, once you've done that um, it's completely up to you if you want to get the huge discount or if you just want to do the monthly one you know it's it's completely up to you so what i'm going to do i'm going to fill out all my information i uh, can't do this on camera unfortunately and i'll be back in a jiffy all right so i've actually just purchased it um just for the sake of this video and if you've purchased it and you've done everything correctly you should be on a screen like this now i don't know how far in advance that you might be watching this tutorial um hopefully i'll keep this all updated and what's not but if um if you are on a different interface don't worry because i'm pretty confident all the tabs are probably going to remain the same so i've now purchased it and the next step is to get into the right area first let's get you in the right area and then we'll go prepare all the files ready to be uploaded so uh, we want to click on the hosting tab right here and then once you're in the hosting you can actually see your email address which is uh, not your email address sorry your domain and we're going to click on cpanel it's going to load the cpanel and now we're here now again I know it can be quite exciting sometimes because you see all oh, website builder, uh, build a new WordPress site if you're familiar with WordPress and all of that stuff and all of these little offers and what's not. But if you want to get up a website up and running, which I'm going to show you later on down the line, I have a platform um, which again, it's got discount links and what's not. But the reason I'm going to recommend it is because I can actually build um, teams of people uh, of course none of you will ever meet and what's not but it means i can constantly provide you with ongoing training and later strategies as well as some other really cool stuff um, and i can also show you how you can make money with that platform as well and uh, not just with email signatures plus the platform that i'm going to show you allows you to build unlimited websites and autoresponders and all of that stuff so don't fall into the oh i'm going to get everything right here because we don't want to be doing that uh, well who am i to tell you what you do on don't want to be doing i just know that you'll find what i'm going to show you down the line a lot more beneficial um but you know what let's let's go get back on track so once you're in this area you want to hit the file manager button but if you can't see it just click on search and click and type in file uh, find file manager and then uh, it should show here so we're going to click on that and again don't worry if you don't really know what all of these folders mean um, not many people actually do but we're going to click on public html now another thing if um if you go to your uh, website uh, pro email signatures dot website or whatever domain you purchase and you don't see anything there don't panic uh, it probably just means that your uh, domain name is still propagating it still takes time to get all registered and everything set up it can usually take up to 24 hours and um, often it is a few hours but uh, it's just one of those really annoying things that you can't control um, so if you don't see anything there don't worry we can still continue it just means that you might not be able to see your email signature until it's fully propagated but that's not to worry Okay, so now we are in the right area. And again, just to recap, once you click File Manager, click on public underscore HTML and it will load here. And now that's in the right area. So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to package all your files and upload them and then unzip them. It's time to package everything up and actually get it onto our hosting. Now, if you've been following along with the video and you've got the same hosting as me and all of that stuff, good stuff. If not, I don't really know what hosting provider you're using, so things and interface may be a little bit different. Um, but if you've already got your own hosting, then I trust that you already know how to use it. So let's close Photoshop 
and close everything else that doesn't need to be open, including brackets. And we want to head over to our email signature folder. Now, before we zip it up, I'm just going to remove the uh, the Photoshop file and the text, the pre-made text code that you probably downloaded from me. If it's not in there, great. If it is, we may you want to get it out just so. Um, it's not as heavy on your hosting. So now we've got the absolute files in there and what we want to do is right click on the folder and um, use the zip tool that you, I recommended in section one under resources. If you've not watched it, head over there and um, get yourself the zip tool. Now, uh, if you right click and head over to 7-zip, you'll see all these um, these options here. Click on add to email signature dot zip. OK, so we're going to do that. And what you can see is now you've got a zip file right here. So let's head over to our hosting. We've already uh, gotten to the place we want to get to. So I'm just going to open that tab. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to upload the host. So I'm going to click upload. And I'm going to take this file, the zip file, and drag it and you can see it's now been uploaded. So I can click X on that. And now I need to refresh this screen so I can click the reload button here. And you can actually see we've now got a new zip file there. We want to extract that now. So we're going to click on it once and right click. Oh, right click. My computer's, why is it doing this? Okay, right click. <gasps> Ooh, not sure why my computer's doing that. Let's do my head in. So we're going to left click on it and then click the extract uh, but, uh, option here. So click extract and just extract files. OK, so we can now close that and we can get rid of this here. So we're going to left click on the .zip file and press delete, confirm. And if we double click on email signature, we can now see that it's now in the right place. Next, we are going to find the URL of this. Now in the right place, and um, we've unzipped all the files. Everything seems to be displaying. You can see all your images and your index file and what's not. So the next stage is finding the URL um, so we can actually copy and paste it or share this URL with clients. Now, uh, I've just noticed something, and it's only a little. So where it says folder, and if you've been following along, it says email signature. What we actually want to do is remove the capitalization as well as the space. So all you've got to do is double click on the name and um, do that. Oh, so I'm just going to rename it signature and then press enter and that will refresh. And now you can see we've got all of this. And uh, the reason why is because you shouldn't really have uh, spaces when it comes to URLs. So the best way to think about finding the URL is um, really following the idea of a path uh, of a um folders for example so let's say you've got a folder and within the folder you've got subfolders uh, starting with a b c d e f g and then when you open up folder a um then you'll have more files what's not and that, and that's basically how hosting works it's just folders within folders within folders so we know that the overall folder is actually the domain name pro email signatures dot website or whatever domain name you purchase so we're going to open up a new tab and we're going to paste that in next we want to do slash and we're going to be entering the next folder which is email signature so we're going to type in email signature just how it is and now we're going to be entering another uh, now we want to be accessing the file within this folder and the file that we want to see is index.html so we're going to type in index.html and there you go we can now see um, the actual email signature and that's how uh, you would actually find the URL of any of any other thing now let's just say you were going to upload another um, folder for your clients then all you'd literally do is um, head over to the public HTML and then in here you would literally just create new 
a, a new folder here, you'll upload the new email signature folder, so you'll call it Bob Smith Limited, and then within that, uh, your URL here would be called Bob Smith Limited, and then uh, whatever file that's actually containing the email signature, which is index.html. And just to check that this is all working, let's uh, click on Facebook. We can see that's loading Facebook there. Let's uh, click on YouTube, it's loading YouTube. Uh, let's click on the number and it's loading the number. So uh, we now know that that's working and we can now head over to, I'm gonna start off with Gmail um, to actually apply the email signature. So now if you're using Hotmail, what you want to do, you want to go to your email uh, URL, click uh, Control A, it highlights everything, press Control C and now head over to your Hotmail and click on the gear button followed by view all Outlook settings, head over to compose and reply and in your email signature box, um, make sure you click on it and just do a space and press control V. And now you can see, just check, yeah, you can see that it's pasted in nicely. And uh, just to make sure, make sure all of these settings like so are applied. Uh, make sure compose messages in HTML have be, is uh, that. And uh, that, that's really all. Press save and now refresh and um, go to new message and there you go you've got the email signature um, and but if we just go back into my inbox right like so and you can actually see this is from uh, the gmail account uh, that i previously sent uh, so let me get that over you can see that this is in my gmail i sent it and I'm just going to head back over here. And if we click, you can actually see it's all clickable like so. So uh, that's basically how to apply it in Hotmail. OK, so once you've got uh, Gmail open um, or your email provider, what you want to do is head over to the URL which displays um, your email signature. And you want to click anywhere on the screen and press Control A. OK, once that's highlighted, press Control C and now that's copied to your clipboard. Uh, now head over to Gmail and where this icon is, click on settings and then settings again. OK, so now you're going to see all these options right here. So if we scroll all the way down, you'll come to a box called signature now a little pro tip as well is you know sometimes it can be uh, harsh on the eyes trying to see all of this so on your keyboard if you click Control f and type in signature you'll actually it'll automatically guide you to that area and it'll highlight where it is or you could actually also click on these and if we just scroll up you'll see it jumps you straight there so uh, yeah okay so you can see instantly it says no signature so what we want to do, we actually want to click on the uh, little bubble there so we can actually enable the signature. And right here, uh, we also want to click that as well. So it automatically inserts the signature into every email temp into every email we uh, compose. Now, if you don't want it to automatically be entered, uh, just untick that box. And now in this box, we're going to uh, click on it and press Control V. And you can see the email signature has loaded perfectly, which is fantastic. And uh, now that that's happened, the next thing to do is press Save Changes. OK, so if we've done it right, what's going to happen now is when we press Compose, the email signature should already be there. So let's do it. Compose. And it's there. So what I'm going to do now, just to show that uh, the complete process um, in the next video, I'm going to actually show you um, what it looks like in um, Hotmail. And then I'm also going to send uh, the email signature to a new email just so you can actually see that it looks fine upon completion. So the next video we're going to apply it in Hotmail.